Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. For us on Monday, we started out dry with some sunshine, but a front was in close proximity to us, and that allowed for several showers and thunderstorms to develop as we went into Monday afternoon. These will likely linger into at least part of Monday evening, and a couple of these storms really packed a punch across the region. We had reports of damaging wind. We've had reports of perhaps lime size hail. We've had reports of thunder and lightning. We've had reports of some very heavy rain. So these storms really packed a punch for us as they moved northwest to southeast across the region. This evening, things will start to settle down a little bit for us. The showers, the thunderstorms will start to taper off. The severe weather threat will end a little bit earlier than the rain threat. Temperatures at 7 o'clock will fall from the low to mid 80s down into the mid to upper 70s. Looking ahead to Tuesday, a quieter day. Doesn't mean we're going to be completely dry, but Tuesday looks quieter than Monday. 8 a.m. temperature in the low to mid 70s with highs in the low to mid 90s. A very hot and humid day on Tuesday. Looks like we're mostly sunny in the morning. A little more cloud cover later in the day with a few thunder showers possible as we head say after about two, three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Your weather headlines showing that we're expecting the storms to again taper off this evening. We're cranking up the heat big time. Believe it or not, that high tomorrow of 93 is not even going to be the hottest day of the work week. However, once we get beyond this evening and tomorrow, storm chances will stay low here for the foreseeable future, with the exception of maybe Friday, where we may have a little bit of a spike in the thunder shower activity.